Hi guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, it's Thursday and I'm coming on because I'm doing a what's for dinner. Now what I did tonight was I made chopped meat gravy, but I already made it. It's cooking on the stove. Um, and I've shown, shown you guys this a couple of times, so you guys know how I make chopped meat gravy. I will show it to you after, but what I'm coming on to show you is I'm going to be making garlic knots, guys. Ooh! I haven't made them in a couple of months and I love them. My son was running to the store and I'm like, you know what? I'm making chopped meat gravy. Please pick me up a couple of pizza doughs. So he picked me up two pizza doughs. I'm gonna start with one. I don't know if I'm gonna use two, but I'm gonna make my garlic knots, guys. I swear they're so simple. Pizza dough, put them in the oven. You put butter on, you put a mixture of stuff on them. I'll show you what I did, um, guys. And we're gonna get going. All right, so I'm gonna take this out of the of the wrapper. All right, let's bring you over here to show you guys kind of what we're doing here. This is my only, my second time making these. And the last time I made them was the first time, obviously, and my daughter helped me wrap them into garlic knots. So I hope I can remember how to do it myself this time. We'll see, you guys. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> we'll see. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing all right. I don't know. I've been in a little bit of a funk the last couple of days, but just trying to plow through it. I'm going to put a little, little bit of flour on my cutting board here. Just a little bit, just so I have something to base it here so that the, so the dough won't stick. Because what I'm going to do is just put a little flour on my hand, a little bit on the dough. I have to um, cut this into eight, it says eight strips, eight pieces, okay? I just wanted to get a little flour on it so there was a little bit of, you know, dryness. Okay, so it says to cut into eight, make it into a ball and then cut into eight things, let's say. So that's two, four, four, I guess, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So eight, eight little balls. Now what they say is to make little like strips with them. Okay. Now I did this the last time, so I kind of remember. I'm just gonna put a little bit of flour here, so I can roll it out like into strips. I'm just gonna do it with my hands. I don't think I need. I guess you gotta like roll it like into like a a long strip, big enough to. Um, make it into the knot. Woo! Guys, I, I, I'm telling you, I, we ordered pizza a couple of weeks ago, and of course, it's always a fortune, because we get three pies and everything else. It's always a fortune, but I was considering ordering garlic knots, and I said, you know what? I am not going to order garlic knots and spend $8 on five knots when I can make 20 for that price. No way, guys. I refuse to do it. Refuse. So I said, you know what? I'm going to wait until I get my dough and I'm going to do it myself. And guys, it comes out so much better. Sometimes you get them from there, they're dry and they don't put enough stuff on them. I like to do it myself so I can, I can control what I'm putting on them and how much stuff I'm putting on them. All right, now, this looks like it should be good, I think, big enough. <laughs> Let's do it a little bit more. Now, I hope I remember how to do the knot. I have it on my phone just in case, but I think I know how to do it. I think you just do it like this. Like this, guys. Woo! Is that right? I think so. That's right. Does it look like a knot? 
put it on the parchment paper. All right, guys, I think that's a good knot. So let's, I'm just gonna put flour on my hands. Let's get going on the other one. I have water boiling for pasta. Of course, I'm making, because Jenny doesn't like red sauce, I'm making pasta anyway, so I'm just gonna make her a little Alfredo. I'm telling you guys, yes. Uh, some people say I'm a short order cook. I guess I kinda am. Now guys, you can get any pizza dough you want. You can make your own pizza dough. In fact, a couple of times this week, I was gonna make my own pizza dough because I wanted to make these not so bad. I just never got to it. But you can make your own pizza dough. You can buy the one in the, in the tube. You could buy the one with the, I, there's one at Walmart that they sell this package that all you gotta do is add like a half a cup of hot water or something and you have pizza dough. I used to use it all the time, so good guys. You can even get it at the regular food store. Um, so easy. So you can use any kind of dough you want. All right, so let's see. Now I'm just gonna take it like this. Guess this one goes under like this. There we go, yes. This one looks more like a knot than the other one did. Just shape it into a knot. I guess that's a knot, right? Okay. Let's do another one. So good. God, I'll tell you guys, I I took um a bowl, I'll show you. And I put a half a stick of butter. I put like a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Hello. Quarter of a cup of olive oil. And I put garlic powder, onion powder, um, salt and pepper, and go oh, you know what I didn't put in it? I wanna put some real garlic, um, I wanna put some garlic, um, this one is being really difficult. Fresh garlic, uh, minced garlic in it. I'm gonna do that. This one is giving me a, a rough time. There we go. Just keep doing it until you Get it. This one isn't going to be very big. This one was kind of small, I guess. Just keep working it. Stretching it. Putting it, tucking it under. And making a knot. I think I got it down, mostly. Not perfect, but you know what? Guys, they don't have to be. They don't have to be perfect. All right, guys, I'm doing the last one. Okay, so again, I take it and make like a circle. And then I take this one, put it over here, and then tuck it under like that and kind of pull it like a knot. Now, it doesn't look like a perfect knot, but when you lay it down on the pan, it does. All right, so I got eight of these here. This one's a little tiny on parchment paper guys okay it says to cook it look see guys all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna melt the um the oh i gotta put some garlic in it give me one second where's the minced garlic i gotta put the pasta in the water Lord in heaven. Glory, give me the shovel to the scriturator. It's not even, I don't even know that. Oh, it's all the way in the back. All right, guys. I'm gonna put it in after it comes out from heating because I don't want the garlic to get like burnt in there. So I'm just gonna melt it. Okay, like I said, I have, I'll show you. I have garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, um, uh, salt and pepper, um, some basil, and I'm gonna put some, uh, I got dried parsley, and I'm gonna put some fresh parsley in. Let me check this pasta water. It is, um, it's getting, let me get the brush. I'm, I'm probably going to make more because 
Honestly, guys, this is not going to cut it for my family. It just isn't going to cut it. All right, guys, so here it is. It's all heated up. If you can see this, see? Yeah, I'm going to put some fresh, some minced garlic in it. Not an enormous amount, but a nice, a nice amount. Mm -hmm. Let me use the knife here because I don't have a spoon. I don't want much of the juice. I just want some mini scarlet. All right, guys. Cooper, don't even think about it. Cooper wants to have some garlic knots. And guys, I have some fresh parsley. I'm gonna save some for the pasta. Nothing like fresh parsley, guys. I told you. Yes, I have dried parsley in here, too. And I told you that I will use dried parsley if I don't have, you know, you know fresh parsley. But what a difference it makes. All right, guys. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is, you guys can see this. What I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to take this mixture. Like I said, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Italian seasoning, parsley, fresh parsley, and grated cheese, guys, I have in this too. Okay, I'm gonna brush it onto the garlic knots. These have to cook 10 minutes, and then they, um, I take them out, put, this, put more stuff, brush them again, and then, um, then I put them in for another 10 minutes. That's what the, that's what the recipe says. Get lost, you, you're not having any of these. Get a Oh, God, this looks so good. Guys, I wish you could smell this. Ooh, the smell is amazing. Who needs to go pay an arm and a leg at the pizza store for these when you can make them home? I swear to God, $10, maybe $10. That's it for all these. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven. Alexa, set the timer for 10 minutes. Let's get these in. I'm going to put the pasta in the pot. I'm making two pounds because um, I want to just have a lot and I'm going to be making some uh, fettuccine for Jen with it. So, that's it. So let me get another cookie sheet, guys. And I'm going to put another, do another one. Got another cookie sheet. All right, guys. So I, I took these out of the oven after 10 minutes. I'm going to baste them again with some of the sauce. Mother butter and olive oil mixture. And then I'm gonna put them back in for like another five minutes. I had the other ones in the oven. I did those. I had Julie, Julie came home, so she helped me. Hi, Al. Should I ask me about? You're outside. Here, but you're again. So yummy. The pasta's almost done. So, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna eat very shortly. Put these back in. All right, guys. So here it is. There's the garlic knots. They're both trays are done, and they look amazing, guys. I'm gonna try them. I'm so excited. Here's my little plate of pasta. I have chopped meat gravy, guys, and this is what's for dinner tonight. I made Jenny a little Alfredo over there, and that's it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.